Tiger William. I'm gonna take him swimming. Tomorrow's a bike riding day, but today I'm gonna take him to the Y. He's gonna go swimming. I'm gonna go work out. Um, it's a beautiful day today. It really is nice. All I know is I am excited for this weekend. I don't think I have anything planned, but I'm just excited for the weekend. I really want the weekend to come. It's a three-day weekend for the kids, not for me. Monday is my um, only working holiday that I have to do. We have this thing at work that we do and we plan for the next year. and So Monday is my only working holiday. But I am on my way home. So uh, let me focus on the traffic and get going. Off we go to swim practice. You ready to go to swim practice, buddy? Mm -hmm. Yeah? What, uh, what are you going to do today in spring swim practice? I don't know. Hmm? I don't know. Really? You're not going to swim? Yeah. <laughs> I think you're going to swim. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. All right, you ready to swim your butt off? Huh? Yeah. You're such an awesome swimmer. Can't wait till you start getting more muscles on you. You know that? You know how fast you're gonna swim when you start getting more muscles? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah? How was school today? Good. Good? What'd you do today in school? What? Did you swim? Yeah. You swam in school? Yeah. Oh, when did they build a pool? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> it's his cool has his his cool his school has no pool. So I don't know what he's talking about. He just wants to shut me up. Is that it? Yeah. Really? Is that nice of you? Did you have a fun time this weekend with your dad? Uh-huh. What was the best part? Food. Miniature golf, Madame Tussauds, the eye. Food. The food? Yeah. Which one? Sugar. You like the sugar factory? Yeah. Which part did what, you like? Your burger? Or you, know, you had your chicken sandwich, right? Yeah. I didn't know you liked Sugar Factory. You didn't like Shake Shack? No? Yeah. You chose Shake Shack. I know I chose Shake Shack. But I thought you liked it. I like Shake Shack. Oh, I, I didn't know you didn't like it. I like Shake Shack. Okay. I had a great time with you too. Mm -hmm. Love you, buddy. Out of nowhere, rain. It was a clear day. That's the thing about living in Florida. It can rain just like that. All right, into the why we go. Okay, so today was built around, um, wasn't built around anything. I was just, I was busy. After I took Williams to swimming, I ended up having a couple of business phone calls. Uh, I spoke to David. He's still doing the coding, which is great. He's almost done. Um, things are looking really good. We're going to talk about a uh, another feature that we're adding. So this is this is awesome, awesome, awesome. We're going to start creating our land. I'm going to create the landing page. When people see the the new software we're creating. They can look at it, kind of get a feel for it. And I'm I'm just saying that this is this is good times right now. So uh, I was busy today doing those phone calls, talking to David. Uh, Dave, hope you feel better from that cold. Um, and uh, that's basically what today was. You know, uh, uh, watched my son swim a little, picked up my daughter from work, and then I'm here. You know, um, there was something that I wanted to talk about, which I thought was very interesting, because you know, the PewDiePie issue. It's like a big deal now. Everyone's talking about it. They're claiming it's his freedom of speech. He was able to do this. You know, um, you have people who are Jewish backing him up, saying he's not an anti he's not an anti-Semite. Um, he was pointing out something in comedy. He's not anti-Semitic, um, but yet Disney Channel, well, not Disney Channel, Disney themselves, because it wasn't Disney Channel. It's some other group that's owned by Disney that was uh, sponsoring him and they dropped him. Then you have um, YouTube who said, look, your YouTube Red channel, your YouTube, not, not channel, your YouTube Red show is canceled. We're not gonna renew it because of these anti-Semitic things. So it's like a big hit that he had. Then AdSense says, look, we're not gonna um, 
pay you out or something like that. It, it was bad for him. It's bad. It's not really bad in a way because, you know, you get this negative advertisement and people don't realize that negative advertisement can actually boost people up. So as long as he has every, and here's, here's how negative advertisement works. People say, you know, negative advertisement, negative advertisement is great because it'll boost my image. Well, it depends. Okay. Like if you're the dentist who shot the lion, yeah, you're not getting business. Plain and done. Okay. Um, but if you're creating a controversy and you have, and here's, here's how this works. Okay. The dentist who shot the lion, he had about maybe this many supporters okay but the lion had that many supporters through the roof so there was no way on earth that this was going to beat that okay PewDiePie has this up his opposition which is right here which will say is Disney YouTube maybe AdSense right but he's got like 53 million subscribers that are backing him up okay then you have his billion views. So since he's so big on YouTube, he can take his business elsewhere. He can go to Vimeo and blow up Vimeo. So he is in a position where he has all these people backing him up and they're flooding the internet with, oh, hey, you know, you can't, you can't do this to him. He was a great guy. He doesn't mean it. Hey, I'm Jewish and I know him. He's not like that. <clears throat> but people need to stop and understand something is it's not him, okay? It's what his message was. You pay for Fiverr, even though it's a joke, just to show how pathetic Fiverr is. And there's people out there who do anything for five bucks, okay? And you have them hold up this sign that says, Death to all Jews, and they do this dance. And well, you can look at it right here, really quick. <laughs> the fuck is this? <laughs> I paid for this. What? What's with the Christmas? I like the editing. Subscribe to Kim Stars. <laughs> so you get these people who do all this right now here's the thing with that okay you have children that watch this show children who are influenced by you because you are an influencer this is a new phrase and people who don't realize the power of influencers so you have this so you're an influencer people are watching you kids are watching you they see what you do they think it's funny they go to school and they start saying "Ooh, let's copy it just as a joke just to see you know the people's reaction just, just let's do it as a joke let's let's better yet you can have three children who say hey let's imitate PewDiePie I'll pretend I'm him and you two guys hold the sign do it in the, in, in the cafeteria Everybody know who we're talking about? Great laugh, let's do it, it's gonna be real funny. Now what happens? So this is where it becomes important and this is why YouTube and Disney will stop him because he is an influencer. And that's exactly what he's doing. These young children who go crazy, who immediately defend him. It's just like as if I had Casey Neistat fans look at my saying, hey, you're copying him, you're being just like him, you're a pose, whatever. I'm not copying him. I'm copying people he copied, Sandy Kubrick. And all. But because he has such an influence on people, they immediately attack the other person. Same case as PewDiePie. So imagine Casey Neistat, 6 million subs, big influence if you ever try to copy, copy what he does or do anything similar to what he does. PewDiePie, 53 million subscribers. Do you see the difference? That is huge. It's enormous. Okay, So he influences so many children that it's no wonder they're going to say, whoa, stop. Because the main ones that he's influencing is the tween market. And if anyone knows anyone to think about business and retail or, or trying to attack the biggest demographic there is in the world, it's the tween market. 
So since that's who he, his main um, audience is, that's what their reaction was. Was it too quick and harsh? I don't know. You got to look at it. You know, it started a while back and he did a couple of things. I think he would just, and you can tell because he did a few of them and they didn't. I think it was like on his third or fifth. Who knows? But that's when they said, look, no more. This is when, you know, it went from ha ha ha. Yeah, kind of funny joke. Uh -huh. Oh God! All right, wait. Now it's every time. Went too extreme. Okay, he took it too far. I guess I don't know. Um, I watch some of his stuff. I find him very funny. I like his dare challenges. I mean, he's he's a funny guy. He's not a bad guy. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about that because that was pretty big. That's been big. It's been all over. Anyway, on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, tomorrow looks like it's gonna be a great day. I'm going to ride my bike. I'm super excited. So I'm going to go to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Thank you all for watching. And if you like this, like on the bottom, subscribe. You know, the, you know the deal, right? Thank you guys. Good night. Picked up the beautiful girl from work. Right, pretty girl? Mm -hmm. How was work? It was good. It was good? So a lot of sneakers? Yep, same conversation. Oops. And now we're gonna get Arby's for her.